Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I have another layout for you, and this is actually the last layout I have for my November kit. I do have um, like four insert type projects that you're gonna see posted on my channel next, but they're not really truly layouts. They're just extra things that I do with my kit. So I have these two photos. They started out as uh, four by sixes, and then I trimmed off the white border, and then I trimmed them down just a little bit more. That way um, the not the depth, um, just the pictures were a little bit more proportioned to each other. And also I could add a little bit more on the layout without it seeing too squished together. So I had this idea of putting the two photos right next to each other and then kind of doing a little bit of a grid type layout with a project life card on the left side. Well, obviously the project life card is not as big as the photos. So I, I really go through a lot of different cards here to see if they work. I'm flipping through Ellie Studio cards. I'm, look, I'm flipping through Studio G cards. I'm looking at some, I mean, my big idea cards. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking at a lot of different ones. The one I end up settling with is that happiness one, and that's actually one of the closer to the beginning cards that I pulled out. But I truly did struggle a bit with this to see. And I have about five different options sitting here um, for me to choose from. But I will, I will, like I said, settle on that happiness one. Now, I knew I needed to layer up a bit, um, layer this card up a bit on whichever one I chose. That way that it would have a little bit more, uh, it, it would be a little bit more equal in size to the photos because it is going to be right next to those. So I'm going to use this one kind of, it's hard to see on the camera, but the 6x6 six paper that I just pulled out has a, um, kind of like a gray and cream tone on tone chevron I guess and so I'm gonna layer the happiness card on top of that blue geometric print and then layer that on top of that um, chevron print as well oh sorry my phone just dinged on us here so I am gonna settle on this blue like really pretty bright, bright blue 12 by 12 is my background. I thought about layering it on top of a white piece of paper, but I end up actually making the blue the background itself. And this layout seems pretty simple, um, but I do end up adding a ton of enamel dots at the end kind of to mimic the snow in the pictures. So I've mentioned this before. Um, Kaylin, it snowed really hard here. Um, one time, <laughs> it doesn't snow hard here very often, but it did snow hard here um, this particular spring. We usually get a lot of snow in February. So it, it snowed here, I guess that was winter, not spring. It snowed here that February. And um, I mean, it snowed pretty significant compared to what we normally get. We normally just get, you know, some, some little, I wanted to say drizzles, it's so not right flurries here we go some flurries here and there and then, and then you know not a whole lot more so this particular year though we actually got a ton of snow school was canceled for like weeks because we're not really prepared for that type of snow here in North Carolina especially not in the area that's not in the mountain region um so it was it was quite comical in a sense but Kaylin really enjoyed it and he's helping me clean off the car because I still had to go to work. Even though his school was canceled or his preschool was canceled, I still had to go to work. So he was just helping me clean off the car. He's got a uh, spoon or like a spatula type of thing from the kitchen that I let him have. That way I wouldn't scratch the car. And he's just kind of pushing the snow off for me. He was cleaning off the tires at this point. <coughs> and you can't see it, but he is wearing my gloves and they're kind of hanging off of his fingers a bit as well. It's just really cute. And he's got his, his curly hair sticking out around the little um, earmuff things. So I have this light blue ribbon that I'm going to layer here. And I was going to put a small strip at the top and then a large strip at the bottom or a long strip at the bottom. But I'm changing my mind and I do it and I layer them one on top of the other kind of to make them parallel. And then I um, use that to kind of help ground my photos so they're not just floating in the middle of the page. <clears throat> And I'm going to cover up the other edge of this short one so you don't see it. There we go. Just like that. And that also helps line up the Project Life card with the um, top of the photo so it's not, it's not such a big difference in the size. I'm just 
completing the other end of that ribbon so it looks like one continuous ribbon across. And then I'm going to do the other one right here. <coughs> Excuse me, my phone is just dinging. And I never seem to cough until I start talking on these videos, and it drives me crazy. Um, and you guys may hear Kaylin cough in the background. We're still, oh, right on cue. I don't know if you can hear him. He's asleep, but he's really struggling. I keep giving him um, different medicine to, well, not different medicine, but just medicine to, to help make him more comfortable so he can sleep better. And, you know, the doctor tells us, you could just take Benadryl, it'll help because it's allergy-related. But, boy, it takes forever for us to actually get over these type of things. So, anyways, enough of that. Um, this video is actually going to go live on December 3rd, which is the day after Kaylin's fifth birthday. I can't believe he's going to be five years old. It's kind of crazy because that's my baby and he's going to be five. But anyways, that's why I scrapbook photos like this. That way I can remember how he was when he was younger because it was so cute. Not that he's not cute now, but it's just, it's insane to think about my child as being five. So I take another piece of this ribbon and I just fold it over so it has a bit of, just a little bit something different. And then I have this little cut apart card that came from the six by six paper pad and it says, you make me happy when skies are gray. And then I'm going to actually cover up the gray part and put snowy. <coughs> and this paper pad is a my mind's eye paper pad. I really like the colors and the tones in here so I use it a lot. And this is where I'm gonna change it to snowy. just covering up the gray. You can't even tell it says it. Obviously you can see the stickers, but you can't even tell it actually says gray underneath. My hair is a crazy mess in this, in this video. You can, you can see it like sticking out because my head's right at the edge of the camera. My hair is crazy. I'm glad you can't see how I look when I scrapbook because a lot of times I scrapbook late at night. So it's after a long day and I'm just like a hot mess. <laughs> So I'm glad you can't see that. I always try to keep my hands nice and, you know, my nails manicured. Not necessarily painted. My toenails are always painted. But my fingernails are actually very rarely painted because I, I wash my hands a lot. Um, <clears throat> just because, I, I mean, I, I just do because <laughs> of my job. I, I, I work at a bank and I deal with a lot of money, so I wash my hands a lot. And um, so manicures... Nail polish tends to chip pretty easily, and I don't want to paint my nails every day or every other day, so I usually don't paint my nails that frequently. <coughs> Excuse me, but I do paint my toenails all the time. So I'm just trying to figure out what my title, I kind of knew it was going to be snow sh uh, spoon shoveling, but I didn't have, I couldn't figure out the right alphas to use because, because I'm using my stash, I'm using a lot of alphas that have already been used, and it is sometimes extremely difficult to come up with titles with and match it with a an alpha that you actually have all of so that I mean that is quite difficult so I'm using this little circle one which I love these I wish I had bought like five or six sheets of them they were in the dollar bin at Target a couple years ago and I bought them and then I hadn't used them for a while and then now I'm like I love them but I'm out of so many different letters it, it makes it a bit difficult so and then I use these little tile ones that are blue with white lettering and it just says spoon shoveling. So that's my title. So now I want to decorate um, a little bit. I don't, I don't really embellish a ton on this layout. Um, I like the way it turned out. And so I was kind of hesitant to add too much because I felt like it would muddy up the page. Um, so I'm very pleased with how it ended up. It was very clean looking, very simple. Um, but it has still it tells a story and has a great impact and includes some of my favorite photos. So I have this border strip that's just kind of like a curly cue, and I'm going to use it right here. And then <clears throat> I was trying to use a piece of it at the top, but it looks funny because it's just one little loop. So I have another piece that's a little bit more, and I'm going to layer that in a different spot. And those are from that fancy frills sticker sheet that you see to the bottom left of the screen. And it is a um, doodlebug design one, I believe, if I'm correct. All right, so there's kind of just a little bit more to add to it. Oh, and that little sticker, that blue, 
postage stamp sticker says uh, chill and it's got a, a little penguin on there. So I thought it was kind of fitting for the snow. And I didn't like the the journaling spot. I had, it was very distressed and gray looking. And so I'm, I'm covering that with a piece of grid paper that I'm actually going to do my journaling on. And what it says is it's going to say um, funny little boy with some tile stickers, the same ones that I use for snowy. And I am adding a bit of this gray or this silver washi tape. Kind of just finishes off the ed edges of the card. And I'm also going to use it in a few more places right here at the bottom over that loop-de-loop -loop thing. And also on the other little my, uh, tall, tiny, small and tiny piece that I use on the right side. So my journaling, this is where I'm going to put funny little boy. And I'm using these little alpha stickers to do this. And then it's going to say, this boy is so funny. He wanted to help clean the snow off the car. So he got a large spoon from the kitchen and went at it. He had a ball and really helped out a lot. He's such a helpful little, sweet little boy. If he sees that you're struggling with something, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll try to come help you. Even though it's not always helpful, <laughs> he does still try. Um, he likes to get the doors for people. He likes to just help. He likes to um, carry things for people. He's just a very sweet child. I really appreciate that about him because it's kind of his own little thing. Because he doesn't have to be that way, though I do prefer it. <laughs> but he doesn't have to be. Oh, just a note. These Webster pages, Webster's pages, um, tile letters, uh, yeah, they're not cut really well. And I've heard, I mentioned it before on another video, and somebody said that that all of their Webster's pages, tile, stickers are just like that. So it may just be the way that they're made. Which is a bit unfortunate because they're really cute. But I do notice that they're not cut with the alpha or the, the letter in the center of the tile, and they're also not cut all the way through. <coughs> All right, so we're kind of we're kind of nearing the end of the layout. It's there's not a whole lot more that I do. Um, this layout was very simple. There wasn't a whole lot going on, um, which I find it interesting that it still took me a little over an hour to complete because that, I mean that's that's a significant amount of time for something I didn't do a whole lot to. So I'm just kind of looking through here, trying to figure out what else I want to add. Um, I have my, my kit, of course, my stash kit, and I'm looking through to see if there's anything else that looks good. I was looking more so for the gray, blue, and white tones. I just didn't want to introduce a new color. And I do end up finding a sticker. It is from a Fancy Pants uh, sticker sheet, which is right here. And it says... Um, the sweetest thing, or sweetest thing, I don't know if it says the sweetest thing, it's this one right here. I believe it did say the sweetest thing. No, just sweetest thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the arrow part, and I'm going to put it up here at the top, and then I'm going to put sweetest thing right here at the bottom, and use it kind of like a word sticker. I'm just layering those. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm looking through the other ones to see if there's anything more. I like having all these little... These little tiny stickers and, and everything. I mean, it seems a bit excessive when you have like 20 sheets of them, but it is kind of nice to have options and just pulling one off of there really does add something to the layout. Now, it seems really blank to me, so I'm looking at these stars, trying to figure out if I want to use these stars. They very well could have worked, but then I started thinking, why am I going to put stars on a page that's about snow? So I start looking for snowflakes. Well, I come across these gold snowflakes, which are very pretty, but gold is not really the color I used. I use silver on this layout, so I'm like, okay, I try them. I see if I can make them work, and they don't. I'm not happy with them. So I'm going to take them off as well and actually put them down. I mean, they're okay, but I just, I felt like I already put silver on here and it's gray. And now I'm going to introduce gold. I just wasn't happy with it. So I thought about mixing those with stars. Not happy with that either. So I'm going to take those off. And luckily these stickers came off smoothly. I probably would have cried if they didn't. I actually know I would have just made it work, but I wouldn't have been happy with it. So here are these, and I'm like, okay, well, I like these sequin stars, but I need more than just two or three, so I pull out these other ones that I have in my little pill container, and I'm pulling out a bunch of those in silver and in like a metallic blue, and I decide against that, and this is where I go, oh, yeah, let me just do a whole bunch of white, 
homemade enamel dots and it's going to look like snowflakes, like little snowflakes. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. And I tried to be random by just dropping it on the page and it didn't really work. So I just kind of a little bit more strategically placed them randomly. And then this is going to complete my layout. And I just use my Tombow Mono Multi Glue for this. And um, I will have still photos at the end of this layout if you'd like to see those. And I do a weekly recap on my blog, though. I'm not always the most up to date. I really do try to do that every Sunday. But um, anyways, that is it. I appreciate you guys joining me today. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also, please feel free to leave a comment. I love to hear from my subscribers and my viewers. All right. Enjoy your day. Bye, guys.